terrorists, criminality, sin, and judgment. Islamic terror, IRA terror, human depravity. All organized terror demonstrates that the ideologies and belief systems of terrorists are evil. It's important to name those belief systems and address them with true justice and a re-education of those affected. In the first century of Christianity, the religious leaders of the Jews were the Pharisees, Sadducees and lawyers who not only executed Jesus, but persecuted those who followed him. And in the book of Revelation, the evil system of beliefs of these leaders is personified and referred to as Mystery Babylon, the great mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. This is because she killed and murdered Christians and corrupted the truth of God and typified all those wrong ways warned about and taught in Scripture, and for which Jerusalem was destroyed by the Romans in 70 AD and warned by Jesus as the day of vengeance of our God. In the case of IRA terrorism, they were Roman Catholics. Martin McGuinness, who recently died, was the leader and chief in command of the IRA, responsible for many deaths and the Brighton bombing of our Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher, in 1984. Roman Catholicism is a religious system that follows that of the corrupt Jewish system, an anti-Christian way of religion and sister to the Whore of Babylon. These men fought and killed to achieve their objectives. In the case of radical Islamic terrorism, These terrorists are driven by their evil religious beliefs and follow the pattern set by their leaders and teacher Muhammad. Who is responsible for this? And I don't think it's going to be surprising when we found out. This is an Islamic Jihad attack. The man that done this would have either been radicalised in a prison or he would have been radicalised on the streets of the UK with full knowledge of our government and our security services. I have information that shows there was four terrorist attacks last week in France. Four in France. There was 12 planned last year. Driving your car like this man has done is exactly what the Inspire magazine, which is Al-Qaeda's magazine, which was downloaded by 50,000 British Muslims last year. 50,000 British Muslims downloaded a terrorist manual in our country. And we keep on pandering like you, like you just come up to me saying it's got nothing to do with Islam. It's got everything to do with Islam. The blood is on your hands. An evil religious system not directed by God, just like the whore of Babylon. These people fight, kill and terrorise just to get their objectives of revenge and to bring in Sharia law, which is happening now in the UK. The Gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ names the causes of this evil and it warns of the judgment to come to those involved. It tells of the blood guilt and guilt of all sin. It tells of the legal and judicial requirement for sin to be punished by God. The Gospel also tells of the way of salvation and states that all have sinned, as expressed in Calvinistic soteriology and the total depravity and corruption of human nature. All of us are in need of deliverance from that condition, which is salvation from sin, death and hell. And it is through the death of Christ that provides the atonement for the forgiveness of sins. The article written by Dave Courtney serves to show that every rank or social level in society can be corrupt and often those in high places are far worse than lower criminal level. Our magazine and work is to educate people by means of teaching the gospel and our bit in particular Baptist College Pakistan works to teach the doctrines of grace and truth of our Lord Jesus Christ. There is one thing the Bible is clear about, and that is that God is no respecter of persons, Acts 10.23. When it comes to judgment for sin, and we learn all from the gospel, that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, that is, we come short of the mark, Romans chapter 3.23. It should be realised that all sins will be punished by God. There is no exception. And when it comes to judging others, as in the recent case of Martin McGuinness, the former IRA leader by Lord Tebbit, who judged him to be a coward and a multi-murderer, who wished him to be condemned to hell for his crimes, 
That is the reality of all terrorists and sinners, unless they turn or we turn from our sins and find our peace with God. However, God is in the business of saving sinners. This salvation involves pardon for sin, justification from sin by the imputation of Christ's righteousness, a spiritual new birth resulting in repentance. Hence, sinners are converted, safe from the judgment to come and brought to peace with God. This is what Christ and his apostles taught. When Christ saves a man from sin, he does not leave him in his sins, but grants him repentance and turns him to the right way. You can get your copy of our Christian Times magazine for further information at amazon.co.uk and amazon.com.